Jury deliberation set to begin just hours from now in the trial of Russian national Igor Dashenko, who is facing charges stemming from the Durham investigation. It comes as a federal judge dismisses one of the five charges against him, making false statements to the FBI. Dushenko told the FBI he never talked to Charles Dolan Jr., an aide of the Clintons, a Democratic PR executive who contributed information to the now debunked Steele dossier. Mr. Uh, this former Speaker of the House, Newt Gingrich, joins us now. Uh, Newt, first off, for me, the biggest revelation is the fact that they were given a million dollars for Christopher Steele to prove that anything in the Steele dossier was true. Can you verify it? And he couldn't. I was stunned by that. But what's up? What's at stake for Dushenko today? Look, I, I think the I don't know what will happen in a jury trial like that. But I think it's very clear from the evidence that's been unearthed that the FBI at the very top had gone crazy. Uh, they were doing things that, I mean, how can you go out and actively try to undermine the president of the United States the way they did? Just as they went out to protect Hillary Clinton and they've gone out to protect Hunter Biden. Uh, this is the most corrupt FBI leadership in American history. And uh, there's going to have to be a commission or something to look at it. And potentially, it's going to have to be broken up into two or three different agencies. Uh, this is really serious stuff because these guys have the power to put you in jail. So it's not politics. Uh, this is the criminal justice system, and it was clearly perverted uh, by the last two FBI directors. You know what's unbelievable, too? Congress said to them, do you have any information on the Steele dossier and in interaction with it? They never told Congress that they spent, again, they offered Christopher Steele a million dollars to verify the dossier. They just ignored it. And what I'm wondering is, Newt, is it, is it James Comey and Christopher Ray continuing what Comey was doing? Do you think this was going awry with yes. Mueller? How far back do you think this goes? Well, I think, look, you, you can go back all the way to the investigation, which I think uh, illegally uh, put uh, Dick Cheney's aide in jail uh, when he was totally innocent and when they Scooter knew Libby. he was innocent. And, and uh, you know, Scooter, they, they knew who'd actually leaked the uh, CIA agent's name. It was the number two guy at the State Department. They told him to keep his mouth Richard shut. Richard Armitage. And they went after Scooter to try to flip him. Richard Armitage. They went after Scooter to try to flip him against Cheney. I mean, that, that and that's, I think, under Mueller. So you have to say that there's been a tradition here of right. the senior FBI leadership being anti-Republican, anti-conservative, uh, and corrupt. I mean, doing things that are clearly totally dishonest. Stuart, uh, uh, Newt, uh, I was just talking to Stuart Varney about <clears throat> this. The conviction almost doesn't matter. Exposing what Sussman did and exposing what Dushenko was up to really tells the story. Real quick, your thoughts? Well, well, I think this has been a very important investigation, and I think the new Republican Congress is going to use this as a baseline to uh, really seriously dig into what's gone wrong and why is the FBI so sick. Newt Gingrich, thanks so much. We look forward to getting a, a quick Thank verdict you. from the jury. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.